Preserve, protect, and defend. When the pomp and circumstance wanes, the Biden administration is left with a fractured nation and bitterly divided Congress. An NBC News poll last week showed just 24 percent of voters believe the nation can unite in the next four years. Biden's speech suggests planting a seed now. If we open our souls instead of hardening our hearts, if we show a little tolerance and humility, and if we're willing to stand in the other person's shoes. In the last month, the nation went from mass election confusion to insurrection to impeachment to inauguration. Former Republican strategist Brian McClung suggests a return to political boredom might have pretty strong healing power. I do think, though, that just having a regular ceremony today, a very nice, well done event, seeing both sides of the aisle come together in that ceremony, I do think that has a healing effect on the country. And I do think that we can grow from this and continue uh, to do better. Though for many, the status quo has not moved. Here's a description of the day from two Minnesota representatives. Democratic Congresswoman Angie Craig tweeted, quote, today is a special day, not only because of what this nation is putting in its rearview mirror, but because of what lies ahead, end quote. Republican Congressman Jim Hagedorn tweeted, quote, the Biden administration has already shown that it will promote radical leftist change at the expense of our nation and the American people, end quote. Can a new president come in and somehow heal what so many different people feel is their vision of America? that existed long before he even got here. There's no question from my perspective that the leaders of our country do have an enormous impact on the civic nature and the direction of the people of our country. And so we take our cues from those leaders. They broke the glass. No one holds the crystal ball. But since the Capitol siege, election protests have cooled. Not only did we just swear in a son and daughter. Now, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell made a room full of Democrats laugh. Skip the House altogether. <laughs> so the question becomes, will leaders on both sides change their rhetoric? And are the people willing to follow? McClung, who was Deputy Chief of Staff for Governor Tim Pawlenty, he also brought to light that people don't get their information from three newscasts in Walter Cronkite these days. He said people need to do the work to go beyond media that's only comfortable to them in order to take a step toward unity. All right.